Hi, Bill Patterson, Art Evolution. This was the painting worked on a few episodes, uh, showing how to block things out of a painting, an old painting that you didn't like and or maybe wasn't working. In the original, there was a, a cardinal, which was uh, right in the middle of the painting, that just it was just sitting around for a couple years and just didn't uh, really work. And so, anyways, I decided to do that one, and I'm kind of nice. I like what we've done. Change of the light source, what we did a few episodes, opened up the sky a little bit. And I, I think I had even mentioned that on the, one of the earlier ones. I probably was going to put another uh, animal on it, so I decided for a squirrel. And the trunk was our one of our, our big branches, one of the main things. So, and I had him setting up and maybe eating a little hickory or acorn. So, I had to bring another branch, redesign it, kind of sitting down in that little cup of it there. But some of the things that we'd had off the other ones, uh, some, some of the ones I'd worked on, some of the light sources, and if you look inside of here, that was the one I'd mentioned earlier, I really liked in the painting. And some of these little lights under the here, what I always call hot spots. You think of hot spots, it's normally more of the warmth, but little places where your eye is going to go. We've got a couple here on the trees. But these secondary, li these little beautiful light sources that you just like through here going through the branches. As I always say, I can make you look anywhere I want, I just can't make you always like it. And uh, it's like moth to the flame, where we're always drawn to the light. And here, especially when we have this really nice darks against the light. So I think it's actually going to be a fairly, uh, fairly decent painting, and uh, I'll probably go back and do a little bit more detail. I blocked the squirrel on with a pencil, even while it was wet, which again is a little unorthodox, but a lot of what I do is unorthodox. Uh, that way, kind of maybe, you know, if I were going to. Um, yeah, spend quite a bit more time on it. That probably would have done done what I normally do: do lay it on a piece of paper and do a transfer. Um, but I think it worked out fairly well. Now, like I said, probably a little bit more detail, uh, show a little bit more of the fur, and I may do a little bit more in the background. All this, uh, like kind of looking up the trees. But it, I think it was a good study, and um, we may show some of these other ones. In fact, we just did this. One of my students had a uh, field of cattle, and she had I think ten. 10 evenly divided, five across both. And once we pointed them out to her, then she thought their painting was gone, and we did the same thing. We picked out uh, five or seven, the ones that she really liked, and it were, it, there were probably three or four of them that could have worked if they were in a different position, but they were just all kind of like little dominoes laid up side by side. And it took us about 15 minutes, just like we did on this one, block over it, and her painting was done well. And, uh, so I think same thing here. If the squirrel were maybe farther over and I had changed that and we didn't like it, I could have done the same thing. And again, that, I do a lot of this in my paintings, as I say, and I think most of us do, or wish we did if we if we don't. So don't throw your paintings away. And uh, so we always say, bring your ideas, send your ideas into our Bill Patterson Studio website. And if you have uh, CDs of your work, send your work in. We'd love to air some of your pieces on here. So anyway, hopefully this has been helpful. And uh, we'll see you again on the next time and keep painting.